this quick tip is about how you structure your pages when building with the cadence. Now, I'm a big fan of cadence, and I'm just not a big fan of cadence free blocks. I'm a big fan of the pro blocks because they give you a block called the row layout. So we're going to take a look at this page. And what you're going to see when you look at this page is that every single section that I have on this page is wrapped inside of a row layout. Now, I mentioned this in another quick tip is the easy way to do it is to look here at the list view and we can see where we are. Now, I've got a little bit, it's kind of skinny here on my screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and X out of that so I can see my screen better. But when you look over here, I have every section of this page wrapped inside of a row layout. And when you do this, what you're able to do is you're able to take this section of the site and do more with it. So if you want to create a special background color for this section, you can do that. And we're going to go ahead. And so now that I'm actually looking at this section, I can now, I'm going to grab this. I will go ahead and X out over here so I can see this better. But now that I'm in the row layout, you can see that I'm able to, to adjust the padding and the margin. I'm able to adjust things on the background settings. There's so many different areas and so many different things that I can do, including even hide a section on visibility. Let's say that you have a section here that you want to hide from users who are not logged in. You can even hide a section, and the way that you do that is wrapping that inside of the row layout. So one of my big tips, and again, I'm going to look at the list view right here so that you can see this page is completely wrapped in, in the row layouts all throughout. Every single thing I have on this page is inside of a row layout. So that is my big quick tip for working with cadence blocks.